One day I'll catch a break. General Thorm's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, Disciples Realm? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No. Better yet. Show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly, flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. A pool of warmth spreads through your mind as she settles on the memory of you commanding the goblins to die. Oh, I like you. That was inventive and efficient. Plenty. But I hoped someone of your talents would be more ambitious. You came here to answer the Absolute's call. Let's see what you're made of. She parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate. But there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. You long to be touched. A shame we're preparing for war, or I might find time for you. But all you truly need is the Absolute. I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. By serving General Thorn, I have a mission for you. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the General, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. You feel her presence in your head again. She grips your mind, squeezing until your vision blurs with pain. The Absolute's blessings have far greater value than any price you could name. Be wise. Obey. There is a relic that General Thorm requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can. And bring the relic home. Death would not silence Balthazar for long. But dead or alive, he is lost. Whatever has become of him, it is the relic that matters. It is something that General Thorne desires, and that he has ordered us to retrieve. That is all you need to know. She's suddenly nervous, on edge. Talking about the relic makes her anxious. I am in awe of the power 
power the relic must hold to be of such importance. General Thorne will not leave Moonrise without it. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You'll need a moon lantern to survive them. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. But don't pry. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. It is not your time yet, blessed one. The rooftop chapel is reserved for the general's private contemplation. Save for those he chooses to ascend. This must be the place. We have to get inside. You are already changed, true soul. Hearing her voice is what brought you here. But above, you will stand in her very presence. Such an honor requires more. Her words are diplomatic, but her face betrays her true feelings. Utter contempt for you and all your kind. Disciples Rel has given you a chance to earn that honor. Your tadpole grasps at nothing. She carries no parasite, but you've spent too long reading people not to see what's behind her eyes. Scorn, stark behind her mask of deference. As you see, true soul, there is so much more for you to learn. Time to rest. Moving in. No traps, please. Mm. You can pass. In the name of the salute.
The necromancer was experimenting in the tadpoles. But they were already imbued with Netherese's magic. So where did that magic come from? Always room for more? This giant song sounds like the source of Catherick's immortality. Nice name. Wonder if it's a music box or something. If we can find it, perhaps we can use it to destroy Catherick. We'll need to explore thoroughly. I doubt Catherick leaves the means to his downfall out in the open. Stand, soldier. These are the general's private quarters. Wait. Something in your scent is... familiar. I do not know your face, but your scent. Salunite magic. It used to fill these halls back when I was flesh. Since my master brought me back, this place smells wrong. His family is gone, replaced by bootlickers and beasts. You are neither. So tell me true. What is your purpose here? I protect my master. What becomes of his master, I care not. Pass, then. But I will be watching. Not your scent. Salunite magic on your skin. The general once smelled that way, when his daughter still lived. I died the same night she did, my master says trying to protect her. I do not remember. But he brought me back. I will not fail him again.
Looks had a bag of holding. Don't touch me. With pleasure. Sounds like she loved him very much. Making me sweat. Is that blood? No, never mind. Shouldn't mind my step. Such a strange disc. Are these Gith Yankee markings. At least that I know. The disc is formed from slate and engraved with Gith Yankee writing. It closely resembles the disc that Lazelle deciphered. This time, the symbols easily resolve into coherent words and sentences. The story of Orpheus further unfolds. The Prince of the Comet, Part 3. The histories tell us that Commander Voss, Gestil Kithrak, pierced Prince Orpheus clean through with his sword of silver. That his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon, Ephelaman. Vlakith's faithful roar out this tale. But beneath the roars, we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Blacketh's tyranny. Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky. Praise be to your son, Orpheus, the true heir, Prince of the Comet. The chapter ends there. This disc might be of some interest to Lazel. Been blessed already, haven't you? Move on with your life. Very 
well. The tower doesn't stink like an overstuffed cemetery. Which means Balthazar hasn't returned. So why are you here, instead of out there looking for him? Oh, good. I love answering questions. Whatever Balthazar is looking for, it's crucial to the war effort. Fine. Talk to the bugbear quartermaster. Tell him he's to share my secret stash with you. Death would not silence Balthazar for long. But dead or alive, he is lost. Flo didn't tell a lie. She said you'd find me, and here you are. Carlac, isn't it? Now there's a name I'd hope never to hear again. What was Flo doing here? Didn't think to quiz her about her business. Florenta the Garotta. A Cambian I knew back in Avernus. She was the closest thing I had to a friend. That said, she would have choked the life out of me if I ever turned my back on her. The fact that she knows where I am, or where I might be going, doesn't exactly delight me. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. What did she want, anyway? She came dressed as a novice. Gave me three soul coins. Said I could sell them if I wanted. But, if I kept them for you, she'd consider it a favor owed soul coins huh this could come in handy sure but she did have a condition for every coin you take you've got to hear the story of the soul trapped inside there you have it flo came all this way just to try to make me feel like shit clever use of her time Memorized a bunch of sad stories on her behalf, did you? Didn't need to. Your flow did some devil woo-woo and stuck them in my head. Couldn't forget now if I wanted to. Do you want the coins or not? First coins got the soul of a woman named Mavery. She was born to a cruel mother and a violent father, and three evil brothers, all named Balder. She never knew a day of love in all her life. When she was a girl of 15, she sold her soul to Tiamat in exchange for someone who would love her unconditionally. She got what she asked for. A fellow named Clint, destined to be her soulmate struck by a cart and died a few moments after clapping eyes on our Mavery. Poor guy. The scud of her soul is yours now. Thanks, I guess.
We're just getting started. This one has got the soul of a man named Frakes. Lived in a village near Neverwinter. Hit hard by the worst hunger in a thousand years. Frakes called out for help. Prayed for his children to have meat to eat. Zariel answered. Made old Frakes grow flesh upon flesh after flesh. His wee ones had all the meat they could stomach. He should have known. Better to die a thousand deaths than let Zariel into your life. Karlak's the one said to consume his soul, I hear. Last one's got the soul of a little boy named Ongir. Eight years old. He liked playing in the sun with his friends. That's all I know. That's all? That's all. Oh, and this slip of scratch. Well, thanks, Flo. Hearing a bunch of desperate horror has ruined my day, which I suppose was the point. You got three soul coins out of the bargain, didn't you? I'd quit whinging if I were you. I did my part. That means our business is done. Unless you've got actual gold to hand. I never thought I'd make it. wonder if the gods are watching me. I wouldn't me. have if not for the lantern bear. Good here, I hope. They bloody killed him. What now? Well, something slimy seems to be dripping from the rafters above. Welcome back, true soul. Come back any time. Word. These are the stalking grounds of Steel Claw, Furless One. Tread lightly. Fortunately for you, the slithering vermin I hunt has my attention. For now. Their name matters not, merely their demise. I braved lapping waters and leaking ships to find this prey. I butchered many, and will butcher many more. But this one, this one I toy with. I slice, I tear, 
And when the time is right, I will bite its head off and bathe in its innards! You simply do not understand the hunt. True joy is the feel of screaming flesh beneath your fangs. Now I must return to my prey. It has been too long since it felt the bite of fear. Conk. Still breathing, despite everything. Light on my feet. Sends well. Yeah. up for discussion.
Wait. Nothing. Nothing's wrong at all. You detect the gentlest of presences disturbing the temple's ancient stale air. It seems to encircle Shadowheart, welcoming her. My lady, Shah, you may have felt her, but I heard her. She gave me a mission. There is a holy weapon hidden away, the Spear of Night. I have to claim it, then use it to make a sacrifice in Lady Shah's inner sanctum. If I succeed, I'll become a Dark Justicia. Don't worry. This place has been empty for years. The sacrifice can't be a simple mortal. More likely, it's a monster. And we're well versed in dealing with those, aren't we? We need to get that spear. There's a library in this place somewhere. That's where I need to look. Initiates undertook their final preparations. You show great the potential. Do not falter now. One more test awaits. Descend to the night soul. But Make not the true sphere of night. Lady Shah's hand never held the this. Dark justicia. mercy upon her shroud yourself in blackest night trust your secrets to the night this must be the last step i need to pray only by lady shah's grace did we even make it this far You feel your mind slip into shadow hearts, but you are not the only one present. There is another, 
ancient, commanding, rendered from purest darkness. Shah, find my spear. Step forward and strike down the Sulunite. As you command, Nightsinger. Now go. Warm my blade with moon-crazed blood. And be wary of your companion. He pries in your thoughts. That wasn't for you to hear! It's simple. My Lady Shah demands a sacrifice. One life. Not that it matters, but her reward aligns with your own interests. Please. How many breathed their last just so we could make it this far? Trust me. This will help us. No. Not yet. We can't go on. Not without the Spear of Night. We must return to the library. Good. Somewhere in the library, there should be an image of my lady that we can shroud in darkness. The spear should reveal itself. I'm glad you changed your mind. Otherwise, that would have been the end for us. I don't want it to be the end. In position.
delicious. I forgive it. Let's go. Another fight. This is gonna feel good. Say bye bye. blood.
That did nothing. And it's as easy as that. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. visitors. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. No one back home will ever believe me. Swift as my feet can carry me. That's curious. bid me to wield. Party is gathered. You are ready, or so you hope. As you step into the silent water, a foreign dread travels through you. Curls its way up your leg, squeezing tight.
Lady Shah. I can feel her all around. This is her domain. This is the Shadowfell. You did well. Better than I would have credited you with. Now, hurry along and bear witness to my masterpiece. This is the Dark Lady's domain. He does not belong here. Simple. I followed you. It seems Shah still holds a grudge against General Thorn, and so sought to prevent me from entering in his name. Luckily, you were the perfect agent in helping me slip past her defenses. Now the Night Song is within reach. There is not a shadow of a doubt. But don't take my word for it. Come, see for yourself. I feel lighter, unburdened, as if the softest push could send me drifting away. I cannot prevent you, but you know as well as I, I will come for you, one day. Balthazar, come to add more bars to my cage? Or perhaps to lead this would-be Justicia's blade directly to my heart? Keep more sins upon your head. My retribution will be all the sweeter for them. All this time, and you still fail to appreciate the gifts I bestowed on you, Aileen. Sad to see a thing of beauty not recognize its own worth. But General Thorne, he appreciates you, and he wants you close at hand. So, I am here to whisk you back to him. I welcome the sight of him after these hundred years. He whose immortality I supply with my very soul. General Thorne. 
I'm sure you'll be on your best behavior for him, but just in case, I've taken some precautions. Keep back. It will take quite some concentration to secure Aelin for her little journey. The Night Song is Shah's sacrifice. She's my destiny. He cannot have her. Person, please. You insult her. You insult me. Aelin is so much more than that. She is an Asimar bound to a soul cage of my creation, and lending her immortal strength to general form. Her power, his will, and my genius. An unsurpassable feat. Ramblings most unsane. Poor Balthazar, for maggots ate his brain long ago. Hold your tongue, Aelin, or I'll take it away from you again. And you, no more questions, no more interference. Dead man, you haven't been paying attention, have you? Perhaps I'll revive your carcass and add you to my retinue. Then you'll have all the time in the world to think on your mistakes. Let us make short work of this. Yeah. 
coming up.
much longer. Balthazar has drawn his final rancid breath. <laughs> A pity it was not my hand that brought it about. Instead, it was you. You, who have come to seek the praise of your wicked goddess. You, who have come to drive a dagger through my heart. Not a dagger, a spear. My Lady Shah's spear. Her fate is mine to seal, let me handle this. The fate you seal is your own. To be a dark justicia is to turn your heart from everything but loss. You will know no love, no joy, only servitude. Until, of course, your mistress inevitably discards you. And there is much she does not tell you. A terrible blood price that may extend beyond my own death. You feel Shadowheart bristling. This is important to her. But your bond is strong. You may yet be able to sway her from the path of duty to the path of light. And Nightsong is not blind to your conflict. Behind that raging heart is the restless beat of one who knows too well that her fate hangs in the balance. I... Yes, I think so. My whole life's been leading to this. No turning back now.
Shah will disown me. Now I'm truly lost. We were already lost, little warrior. A lost child, frightened by wolves. What did you say? Much has been promised to you, hasn't it? But what has been taken from you? What do you know of your own heart? Your own life? Lay a hand on me in friendship, not quite Sharon. And I will fight the battle that has been waiting for me this last century. Then, oh then, we will have much to discuss. gift, little warrior. Don't you find it oh so curious that you would spurn your dark lady? Perhaps you feel a stirring of the truth already. But that will come later. There is a battle yet to be fought. You have done what we feared was impossible. You have released me from a century of sorrow. Your power is great. So too must be your weapon. You must choose what you will wield. And the Moon Maiden will provide. Thus I have said. Thus will it be so. Are you ready? To kill Ketheric Thorn. there's a place that's far enough away for me to go. Lady Shah must be angry. There's only silence. Let's get out of here, please. Whatever's coming, I don't want to be in the heart of the Shadowfell when it finds me. The Night Song will be headed for Moonrise Towers. We'd better get there and see what she's unleashed against Ketherick Thorn. to watch her cleave Ketherick's head in two. Yes, my lady. Forgive me. 
Shadowheart, what happened? You were missing for a moment. I... I thought I was done for. I thought perhaps I might have been dead. This... This is all like some sort of terrible dream. But it's real, isn't it? I stood before the night song. I heard Lady Shah's words. And I failed her. Worse than failed her, I defied her. Just because of what that Asimar said. I tried to leave, but Shah blocked me. Punished me for failing her. I thought I knew the limit of pain that the incurable wound could inflict, but... I had no idea. It felt like I was suffering the agony of a thousand people all at once. My blood was boiling, my hair was on fire. I thought I'd claw my own face off with the pain. But then she released me. Banished me, more like. She said I was an outcast. That all of her children would know me and revile me. Shadowheart looks distraught, abandoned by her goddess and all former allies. And as for her divine magic, admitting who empowers her now may break her spirit for good. You're lucky to have such confidence. Me. I think the full price of what I've done has yet to reveal itself. I'm a target to Lady Shah's followers now. Night Song promised she'd tell me something about myself. I need to speak with her as soon as I can. What she said to me back in the Shadowfell about the wolves, that's no coincidence. She took flight to hunt down Kethric Thorm. All I can do is help hasten his demise, and hope that answers soon follow. Do you really need to ask? I'm sorry. I have a lot on my mind. The shadow fell. Night song. I can think of little else. That's not the first time you've made such a leap. I don't know. Maybe it's a Salunite trick, or another way for Lady Shah to test my faith. After I failed her, the Shadowheart I thought I was would never even dreamed of defying the Lady Shah. I'm a stranger to myself. The sooner I speak to Night Song, the sooner I'll know what the future holds for me. Assuming I have a future at all. I'm sorry. It might be best kept until later. I'd be a poor counsel and worse company just now. No time to dally. No time to waste. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. There you are. What's happening out there? Who was that streaking across the sky? An immortal. But it couldn't possibly be. Never mind. It doesn't matter. What matters is you have him in a corner. Jahira and every fighting body in this place have gone to Moonrise Towers to face Ketherick down. She's waiting for you there. End this. Now. We're all counting on you. <laughs>